Ahoy, pillagers and pilgrims, it's Lucullus here. Do you need a more reliable shot? Or are you thinking of upgrading that blunderbuss of amazingness? Or maybe you just felt like joining the dark side? Well, my friend, welcome to my Eye of Reach guide. In this guide, we'll be covering general information about the Eye of Reach and then go through some general aiming tips and tricks, which will make you, my friend, a little more deadly on the seas. In my pirate opinion, the sniper is perfect for all scenarios. It has a high damage output at 80 damage, as it's great in all situations. Its ability to scope in quickly allows it useful in close combat for those who've mastered its practice. Alongside being amazing for sniping them pesky pirates you see in the distance, the sniper has a long distance range shot with no bullet drop until it reaches its maximum range. And just like all other guns, it shoots through boat parts no problem, so you can shoot right through them surfaces to the dodgy pirate on the other side. Now apart from the sniper being amazingly perfect to use everywhere, it's especially useful in island combat. It's great for sniping out enemy captains from the helm of their ship. So buy yours now before it's too late. Just call 0800 take my blunderbuss. I want to be cool. And get yours today. The sniper is a superb weapon because it can be mixed with all weapons. You know, double gunner or sword user. The sword has a great follow up for fast combat and the pistol in combination makes a deadly land fighting setup. If you really want to be overkill about it, then the blunderbuss also works great, providing a useful knockback and around 2 million damage. So, now let's get started with some tips on how to use the sniper like you're a COD 4 throwback. Tango down. First of all, before we go anywhere, you need to be comfortable with your sensitivity. If you're to thrive with the sniper, high sensitivity will reward you if you embrace the change in the long run, and it will enable you to perform a lot quicker in fights making you much better than up close situations. So I'd recommend taking some time to get used to some new settings and find what's right for you. Even if it means getting sunk a few times. I'll be showing my settings on the screen right now so you can compare and work from there. It may be too high or too low for you, but it's a good starting point if you don't know what you're doing. One of the biggest mistakes people make starting sniping is scoping in for long periods of time. You're actually making it so much harder for yourself. Before you scope in with your weapon, you should be aiming from the hip. This means not scoped in. Since you always shoot at the center of your screen, you should be aimed towards your enemy with your character before you even scope, so that you're not hit with the consequences of being scoped in. Also, in Sea of Thieves, we only need to shoot at the center of the target. Headshots are useless, so this makes aiming a lot easier than other games as you don't need to be precise. Aiming and moving from the hip is easier and allows you much bigger access to work with. It allows you to react to close quarter situations easier and you can see more the whole time you're aiming. It lets us spend less time in that scope. Don't get it twisted, I'm not saying we shoot from the hip, you always scope in before you shoot, otherwise you'll have an accuracy debuff and you will not hit your target. We always scope in, but we're aiming to make that scoped in time as minimal as possible. Once you've got used to tracking your enemies from the hip accurately, you'll barely use your scope from now on, unless you're shooting long range. Also, you'll naturally feel able to take more wild shots. Things like flicking your shots and dragging them far distances across your screen will become more natural reactions to you. Now, talking about flicking and dragging shots, Sea of Thieves has a lot of downtime. If you're not an arena player, it can take a while to get used to your new ways. So I'm going to recommend a free game on Steam called Aim Lab. This game is an aiming sandbox which will let you get a little bit more creative with your shots and improve your reaction timings. Of course, this will help overall, not just on the sniper. But if you're looking to improve your shooting game, I'd definitely check it out as it has a lot of cool tools you can use and it'll just help in a lot of games if you're new to PC gaming. Oh, I nearly forgot one thing. Did you know subscribers to Liculus have a 7.2% accuracy bug? Wow. Right, it's true. It's been proven by Joni, okay? So if you really want to be the best, then you probably need to be subscribed. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this guide has helped you. If so, please consider hitting that like button to give my video a little bit more traction against the evil algorithm. And I will see you on the seas, my brothers. Yeah.